It's a great feeling to go to a, an evening do when one of your customers is there and they've got all his best clothes on and you look at the hair and you think, I done that. My journey in this trade started, um, I was very young, I was 15. I left school uh, after four years of secondary modern, no qualifications, and uh, I was working in a little barber, not a little barber shop, quite a nice, very nice barber shop in a place called Tunbridge Wells in Kent. Um, I was uh, sweeping up, answering the phone, going, doing all the gopher bit running around and I soon started to watch quite intensively and I found that yeah I could, I'll have a bash at this I can I can maybe do this long story cut it short I then ended up um, moving to this wonderful new town called Redditch and I've been here ever since I've been cutting hair in Redditch since 1972 and I've been in this particular shop, oh, since, like I say, since 19, 1980 I came to this street. I came to this, this one, this shop in 89. Still here, still, still trying to make some money. But no, it's a terrific trade to get into. It really is. I've been very lucky. I've enjoyed it all my life. It's not all about just cutting hair, it's about the shape of the face, the bone structure, the shape of the head, the neckline, and you've got to get that right. And that to me is quite artistic. And I found people, human beings, wonderful. It's like a soap opera. Being in a little barber shop, everybody remembers the Desmonds on the television. Um, yeah, it, it's good fun. It's a service that is personal and people want to feel comfortable and when they walk out they want to know that they feel good and that that is that is basically our trade you have to you have to look after them, make them feel welcome and that's a great atmosphere because other customers come in and it's a very close environment you, you sit in sitting waiting quite close to where the working area is and people hear what you're talking about, they get mixed in with it, and it's quite a pleasurable experience, really. And that's good because it makes you, you know, people want to come back. They used to sit on that chair, and now they're bringing their children in. And that is what this trade's all about. The, the, it's, a, it's a people's side. And yeah, people like to come in. You, you talk about them, holidays, yeah, that's the old cliche of barbers and hairdressers. Have you been on holiday this year? <laughs> or are you going on holiday this year? And it's a great way of talking about them. And a lot of the time, yeah, you talk about yourself and you discuss things. Some of the, some of the um, conversations that we all get into. You have to know, be able to do every haircut that there is. And you must keep up with fashion. You must learn, it's not just clippers, it's not, you know, everybody has their own style. People say, oh, I want this style, I want that style. And you must be able to look at the hair and say, well, it won't go in like that. You'll have problems with it. Let's do it this way, modify it a little bit. But fashions, you must, you must, try and keep up with fashion. Fashion comes from music in my eyes. Clothes fashion, it, it stems from music. Over the years, 
yeah, different. Everybody looks at a, either a film star or a or a a singer or something or a group or a sportsman, and that influences it. You must be able to keep up with that. And that's a wide spectrum of of styles and different methods of cutting hair. It's not all military. It's it's more of a natural flair. It's a natural artistic, if you like. I, I keep using that word. It might be a funny word to to actually use within this trade, but it is. It's a very artistic trade. You've got to have an eye for it. You've got to cut to a thou of an inch freehand. And that is an art. Thank you to my customers. I can I, I must thank them. That's amazing.